Hey everyone, CPM here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to go through the new product release from the Royal Canadian Mint for the month of May, 2021. Uh, for those of you joining me for the very first time, just a uh, heads up, this is a, a video that I do uh, monthly, uh, usually towards the end of the month so that I can showcase some of the, the new product that's coming out for the month ahead. Uh, so please sit back and relax and please do excuse my scratchy voice, I, I am uh, recovering from a flu. Uh, so hopefully you don't mind, let's get started. So um, for the month of May, um, Royal Canadian Mint has 10 new products uh, that they are planning to release. Um, well, planning is not really <laughs> the right statement. They are already releasing it. So for those of you that has the Masters Club membership, you may have already seen this, but if you don't, um, just this is just another way to get a, a sneak peek at what's to come. All right, so let's start with the very first one. The very first is a one ounce pure silver coin. Uh, this is to commemorate the 1936 uh, 10 cents from uh, from the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, the reason that this is a special coin, uh, in the 1936 uh, 10 cents, there is a total of probably six uh, coin in, ex in its existence that has a dot at the bottom of the coin. Um, so this is that particular coin, uh, except this one is, you know, completely made in gold. Uh, the, I think something special about this, uh, there's a total of six in existence, uh, and through the various auctions, uh, in the past, uh, the actual 10 cent coin, uh, ranged from 144,000 to 245,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, so if you could get your hands on one of those, uh, you could actually yield you a lot of profits. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> this, this gold coin, uh, is a little larger than the 10 cents piece, uh, but the the design um, completely mimics the original 10 cents uh, that, was, that came out in 1936. Uh, even down to the, the denticle around the, the border. So I think one thing that's funny about this coin is um, a lot of viewers do ask me, oh, you know, if the gold and silver has gone up its values. Can we still use a coin like this to, you know, make purchases at the retail store? The answer is yes. Uh, but the funny part is, you can only use this for for ten cents worth, uh, even though this is a, a one ounce pure gold coin. Um, so, for what it's worth, I think I hope that gold never devalued that much. Um, but on the on the over side, we have. Uh, King George V, again, completely mimics the, the original design. Uh, this is, there's only 550 of them available. Um, so get your hands on this if, if this is what you, uh, you like to collect, especially the, uh, the old uh, 10 cent coins. All right, the second coin that we're going to take a look at today is the Raming Bighorn Sheep. Uh, there's only 500 of these uh, that are minted. Uh, again, this is another one ounce pure gold coin. Um, the coin itself is made of the contemporary wildlife portrait, uh, typically done in the, in, in the style uh, from the Northwest Coast art. Um, so as you can see, there, there's a lot of things going on here. There's four uh, Bighorn sheaves around the coins. Uh, in the center, we have the sun, uh, and then the horn. The the sheeps are <laughs> banging against his head on four corners of the coin. Um, I think the cool part here is there are four completely different finish here. So we have the the painted um, surface on the opposite side of the coin for the the blue background and the red background, uh, and then the two opposing side of the coin also have two uh big horn sheep but it's not color it's not colored uh but it, the, the gold surface finish is also different uh opposing to each other so i think that's also a pretty cool design um the green and white triangles that forms the rim of the coin uh, those actually signifies the the mountains uh 
interesting fact about the bighorn sheep, they are only second to the mountain goats for its climbing ability up the mountains. Uh, so, so those are for those are they're into like uh, Native American, Native Canadian uh, type of art. I think this is definitely an a piece uh, that's worth collecting. All right. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. So the third coin is about the Avril Arrow. So I think this is this has a lot of significance to the technology innovations uh, from from Canada. Uh, for those that doesn't know, Avril Canada CF one hundred five was a Delta Wing interceptor aircraft, uh, which was equipped with nuclear rockets and missiles from back in its day. Uh, it was built in nineteen fifty three, so it is many, many years ago. Uh, but the aircraft, when it was first introduced, was way ahead of its time. Uh, first aircraft to achieve near Mach 2 speed uh, with no other nations in the world that could come close to that speed. Uh, but it was a shame that the program was uh, decommissioned prematurely. Um, so just a bit of a history for, for those of you that are interested. Uh, but the silver coin, this is the one ounce silver coin with a mintage of 10,000. The coin itself, uh, it's um, it's pretty neat. Uh, the background has the grid, which kind of signifies the the blueprint, and then you have the various part angles uh, of the delta wing interceptor. Um, so you can kind of see it. The detail is quite immense. You can even see the the Canadian uh, maple leaf logo on the wing of the interceptor. And then we have like the various angle uh, of the jet itself. Uh, on the so this is a different angle for that coin. It has a very interesting finish. I'm not sure if this is just like uh, an artifact from the skin of the coin, or if it's just like an unpolished uh, you know file for the coin. Like it, it looks pretty rough at the bottom of the coin here, as opposed to the rest of the coins around. So that's that. On the overside of the queen's head, you also, you also have the grid behind her head. So I think that is also pretty neat. Like a lot of these designs do go from on both sides of the coin. All right, so let's keep moving on. The fourth coin uh, on the release is the uh, the one and a half ounce pure silver uh, gold plated coin, which illustrates the classic Mountie hat. Um, so last year in 2020, uh, RCM released a, a 10 ounce, um, 10 ounce gold plated sculpture coin featured the RCMP on a horse. It looks like this. Um, so I think they're, they're also continuing that, that celebration of that 100 year anniversary. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> in the in this year as well, uh, but the thing is that it's not a hundred year anniversary since the introduction of RCMP. Uh, the introduction, so the hundred anniversary is actually uh, a celebration from the renaming of the Royal Royal Northwest Mounted Police to the Royal Canadian Mount Police. So I think it's just celebration of the name change. Uh, but looking forward to twenty twenty three. It's actually going to be the 150 year anniversary uh, for the Canada's National Police Service. So I think that one's probably more uh, commemorative than just the name change itself. So, I mean, the, the coin, this coin is uh, it's quite interesting. Um, I feel like it's just a, a piece of silver that's been stamped to have the shape of uh, the Mountie's hat. Um, you can see the frosted finish along the uh, the coin make it feel like the the felt finish of the hat itself, and we also have the the kind of like the belt buckle that wraps around the uh, sort of like the tip of the hat. Uh, this one is plated in brown gold. I've never actually seen that before, so this is probably one of its first finish as well. So it's 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 a very delicate coin. Uh, for one and a half ounce, I think this one will feel quite significant uh, if you do hold it in your hand. 
it's not too thin by the look of it. Uh, on the underside of the coin, you can see the inside of the hat, uh, it's denomination of 25 Canadian dollars. And then we have the Queen's effigy up top. Uh, and then we have the, the, the RCMP model uh, on the side here. Uh, so Mentien Le Droid, uh, I think what that means is uh, uphold the rights, defending the law. And at the bottom here, we have the RCMP logo. All right. All right, so the next product that we have here is the, the quarter ounce pure silver coin. This is the series for moments to hold. Uh, for the, the year 2021, there's gonna be a lot of these moments to hold series. This particular one talks about the uh, national arboreal emblem, which is the maple leaf. There's a, there is a lot of um, uh, arboreal emblem coins that came out this year that celebrates the, the maple leaves. Um, so this won't be the last one. I'm sure there's gonna be more, more to come. Uh, but just a quick sneak peek of what that looks like. You can see the 25 years anniversary, 96 to 2021. Then we have the maple leaf as the centerpiece here. All right, so let's keep moving forward. Like, oh, I just wanna go through the, the rest of the coins. The next one is the celebration for Manitoba turning 150 years uh, in Canada. Uh, Manitoba is the fifth province uh, in that that is formally uh, that formally joined uh, the federation the confederation uh, in Canada uh, 150 years ago. Um, the, one interesting thing about this is that this is uh, the the other mint facility uh, also happens to be in Manitoba as well. Uh, for those that doesn't know, the Winnipeg facility mints all uh, Canadian circulation coins along with the bullion grade coins, gold and silver. Um, the Ottawa facility only mints um, the commemorative and the celebratory coins. Um, so I think this is also uh, something, something to be held for 150 year anniversary. The centerpiece here is uh, the uh, the, uh, the, the, the floral, floral emblem, uh, Kim, Kim seemed to find the words for it, the floral emblem of Manitoba, which is the uh, prairie crocus, uh, for those that are interested to know. So definitely a, a beautiful piece here. All right, so let's move on to the next coin. Uh, this one, I, I think, um, out of the entire May release, this one is probably the, the centerpiece of all. Um, previously, we looked at the, the one ounce silver coin for the Avro Arrow. This one is the five ounce Avro Arrow silver coin. Uh, so this one's gonna be definitely significant to hold in your hand. And this one has partially or selective um, plating uh, with gold. And then you can see the, the arrow flying across the coin. This one's really, really cool. I think there, this is the runway and then we have the shadow that depicts the, the arrow in the Canadian maple leaves on the ground. Definitely has a bit of a 3D effects to it. Uh, a certain angle, it almost looked like the, there is a bit of a, a pitted design to the, uh, the maple leaf on the ground. Like it's pitted downwards into the ground instead of a popping up. Um, but I think that is very, very beautiful as the way that it was designed. You can see like the, the grass path, patch on the side and on this way as well. And you can see like the, the trees in the far end. Um, though not a whole lot of, I think most of the details were focused on the, the interceptor, Delta interceptor itself, which, which makes a lot of sense because that is the centerpiece. If we just look at like the, the top half of the coin I think that is a, a very magnificent piece. Like you can divide it into two halves. The bottom half on its on itself, you have the flying maple leaf at the bottom. I think that, that is also pretty cool too. Uh, this is the this is another angle to look at the uh, the Delta fighter jet, kind of like it's about to fly out of the coin. 
very magnificent. The coin itself is already sold out this morning by the time that I was able to kind of click into it. So if this is something that you want to collect, you probably want to look into secondhand market like eBay uh, or even your local uh, coin shop dealers, uh, especially one that are official distributors from, from RCM. So I think this is uh, one of the cool pieces that I, I wish I could have. Too bad it's already sold out. Okay, um, let's keep moving forward. The next coin, uh, it's not, at, at this point in time, like if, if you look at this, it's like, is this still a coin or is this just a, an art piece? I think this one is more of an art piece than anything. Uh, this is called the Dancing Diamond uh, with the mintage of only 750. Again, sold out already, like it's not super expensive, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> it was sold out already because this one is definitely um, difficult from an engineering perspective, but at the same time, the art piece is also quite magnificent. Um, so looking at this coin here, we have diamond that is sort of centered uh, within this floral design that kind of wraps around the diamond itself in the middle. Uh, it has selective gold plating right here. Uh, and then you have your silver pieces around it. I think the picture really doesn't do itself justice because there is so much detail on this that you can, uh, it, it, you're gonna have to take a, a giant magnifying glass to, to look at this in more details or holding your own hand. All right, so this is another angle to kind of look at it. You can see the diamond that's, you know, seated in the center. Looks like there's two, two pieces of arms that's holding onto the diamond. And then we have the flowery design around it. So let me just take a quick look at my notes. Um, so the, the flower uh, are designed by an artist named Anna Bucciali. Uh, she is actually quite popular on, on Instagram. Um, she does a lot of water painting for flowers. Uh, and she's also a teacher for, for teaching uh, water painting. And on top of that, she's also, and this is not the, her first coin design. Like she's been doing um, money or it's or like, sorry, like not money design, but more of her, that's just coin designs for the RCM for, for quite a long time now. So this is definitely not her first piece, but nonetheless, the, the design itself is very, very beautiful. Uh, on the, on the over side, I think it's also pretty neat too. You can actually see through to the diamond, uh, from the back. So there is a, so like a hole in the middle of the coin that I can see through it. And again, uh, there is more of that same flowery design at the back on the over side. Uh, taking a look at the video, I think showcases the, the coin in more detail. You see that the, that diamond being suspended in the middle of the coin actually hovers about. So much details for this coin. No wonder it's already sold out. All right, so let's keep moving forward. We have about two more coins to go. So the second last one uh, is the special edition silver dollar set for the 100th anniversary for the Blue Nose. I mean, this year we've, we've seen several different Blue Nose products from the RCM. Um, so obviously they're going to make into a, um, a silver dollar set uh, for this particular series. Um, you, can, you can get the silver dollar itself as, as a standalone product from the RCM, or you can get it from this, uh, this set here. Um, <clears throat> From my experience, I feel the other set is more more value. Uh, it's this one, which is the same coin, but it has gold plated uh, sections on, on the design, which I think this one looks so much more better. Uh, sorry, so much better. Uh, but in, in this uh, proof set, it actually, all the coins that are in here are made of silver. So uh, this one's definitely a bit more expensive, but I feel this one has more value just because of the, the precious metal contents that are, that are used in this proof set. So if I, if I had to choose, I would choose this set over this set. 
but I think this one, if you have anyone that is really into, um, you know, boat, uh, the sea life, I think this is a, probably a good gift set, uh, to obtain. Okay. Um, the, the last one that we have, uh, is a special collector edition for the masters club members only. Uh, this is the, the renew silver toonie, which celebrates the 25th anniversary of the, uh, the Canadian $2 coin uh, that came out in 1996. Um, this is the very first coin of its, of this annual series for the Toonies. Uh, in the past, we have the renewed silver done on the, the dollar. So 2015 till present, I think it's still going. Uh, and they've recently just wrapped up the half dollar. So 2017 to 2020. So that series is, is, is completed. Uh, so if you happen to have the uh, the Masters Club membership, you'll be able to get this coin. But again, this one's already sold out as well. Uh, but if you have the Masters Club membership, you would have seen this uh, being available for you for the past two weeks already. Uh, so it, it, in a typical fashion, the the or, original Toonie, um, it's actually made of two different metals. Uh, usually uh, the center, so the it's made of three ply nickel finish plated steel for the outer rim of the coin and a three ply brass finish plated aluminum bronze for the inner core. Um, but in this case here, this is actually a, you know, silver coin in, in its entirety. So there's not a two piece. Uh, so you can't really separate the middle, uh, from the, from the outer rim. Um, so just so you know, so you don't try to take this and break it in half. Kidding. Uh, in all seriousness, I think this is a, a pretty cool coin to to own um, in a different angle. You can kind of see that the, there's a bit of a texture uh, around the rim of the coin. And then the, the polar bear that is just kind of walking on the floating ice. That's pretty neat too. So there is a name for this polar bear. Um, the name of the polar bear is called Churchill, uh, named after the town Churchill in the province of Manitoba. Um, it is the town it's famous for polar bear. There's a lot of wild polar bear uh, that roams around in, in that city. Uh, for, for anyone that is willing to take the train up there, um, you'll be able to see the polar bear almost year round. Um, just an interesting fact to note. Um, so that's about it. The 10 coins uh, from the month of May 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for another one of this at the end of May for the release for the June, the month of June 2021. Again, thanks for watching and I will see, catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye.